Hi there everyone and welcome back to another lesson. In this video, we will be learning the different methods of deleting empty rows in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. The very first method that you people already know conventionally is to simply go to the row, select any cell and right click, go to delete and simply delete the entire row. This is something conventional that you have been doing before. But this time, I'm going to introduce you two different methods which are unique and easy to follow for deleting empty rows. The very first way is to add filters for deleting the empty rows in Microsoft Excel. In order to do that, it is extremely necessary that you select the data which contains the empty rows. In this case, I will select this whole table, which includes the data for employee name, ID number, and product sold. Once I have selected this data, as you can see, there are row number 11, 13, 16, and 17, which are empty and need to be deleted. I would simply press Ctrl-Shift-L on my keyboard to allow the filters for each of these columns. As you can see, as soon as I pressed Ctrl Shift L, these drop downs appeared. These drop downs are the filters for each column. They will help me in order to delete the empty rows. Let's look at how it's going to be done. I'll simply click on one of them, and once I do that, I'm going to see the text filters. Right here, the whole data that's available is selected, but I will uncheck it and then drag down to the last. In last, in brackets, you can see there's an option of blank. I am going to tick mark it and then press OK. As soon as I did it, you can see rest of the data is all filtered. It's no longer there except for the empty rows in this particular selected area. Once I'm done with it, I will particularly select those rows which are highlighted blue in this case, right click, go to delete row. It will ask me if I have to delete entire sheet row, so I'll select OK. And once that's done, you are clear of the empty rows. Now in order to retrieve back the data, we will simply click on this filter button, go to the text filters and then check mark select all. Once you do that, you will see that there are only names mentioned and no option of blanks anymore. That is because we have already deleted the empty rows in that particularly selected data. You will click on OK and the data is back. Now we only have the data which is available without empty rows. So that is how you can use one simple method of using filters and delete the empty rows in Excel. The second easy to follow method for deleting the empty rows in Excel is to use the go to option using Control G. Remember, it is always necessary to select that particular data you want to delete because we have hundreds and thousands of different rows in each sheet in Excel and we would not want to delete the rest of them. So my first step will be selecting the data with empty rows in between again. Then I will press Ctrl G on my keyboard, go to the special option, select blanks and hit OK. Once I do that, you will see that that particular row, which is entirely empty, is selected. Now I simply need to right click, go to delete, and then it asks me whether I want to shift the cells up, shift the cells left, and delete entire row or column. For this case, we're going to delete the entire row. We're going to click OK, and you will see how simply we have deleted all the irrelevant rows in Microsoft Excel. And now the data is all clear, and you do not have that extra space which causes your table to look uneven. So that was how you simply can use these two methods for deleting empty rows in Excel. I hope that these two methods will prove helpful and help you out in managing your pivot tables, your charts, and any sort of data in Microsoft Excel. See you in the next lesson. Thank you very much. 
If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.